Today's OneNote tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your weekly planner and use it as a template for your weekly planning. As I say, we're going to show you how to create your own weekly tutorial. Let me just go to the page where I already created a sample. Okay, now this is the weekly plan template, usually the three main section that I use. Yeah, now this is a template. Let me just open another page. Okay, later we'll show you how to create that template. So let's say you have this uh, empty page. Yeah. Now, if you want to put in or insert the templates that are created here, you can just click here and you can create. So if you have your weekly plan, okay? So usually it's very simple. You just put in what work week. Work week 38, okay? 2024, okay? That's it. Now you can use this, right? Now the first part is the so-called routine. So this is how usually I plan, right? My week. So the first part normally is this, the weekly routine. Okay, we have three sections. KRA stands for key result areas and projects. Now, of course, you can have more sections, right? So. Ask yourself, what are the key important things that uh, you plan normally in a week? Or what do you do in a week, right? So these are the three things that usually I do. So on the first part will be the weekly routine. What are the routines that uh, you do, right? Ask yourself. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm just putting this planning for just weekdays, right? Monday to Friday. If you want to put Saturday, Sunday, it's totally up to you. Okay, so it's very simple. You just insert, let me go to here, insert a table, right? So you are like five times two. So let me just create something to show you, right? Five times two. There you go. So with this, you already created your table. Very simple. So you put in your Monday, Tuesday, okay, Wednesday, and so on. And in each of these, you can insert a task or to-do. So just go to the home and you see this, right? The text there. Okay, the first one is to-do. All right, so you gotta write something. What is the things that you want to do? Yeah, they create. So usually the routines, yeah, you can key in here. So exactly the same, right? Now, if your routine doesn't really change, so usually I save it a template so that I don't have to keep on changing that. Understand, right? So the template, all this is done only one time. Now, of course, later you want, you can always go and change this. All right, if I don't want this, I can change it to something else. Yeah, I can add some more. Right? So, you, you can always do that, right? Because this is a template. Now, same thing with KRAs, yeah? Key result areas. So what are the key important? Ask yourself, right? If you work, what is your KPI? So what is your goal? Yeah, from the goal. I mean, if you know OKR, right? So if you don't understand OKR, just leave a comment right below. Then I'll create a video to talk about OKR, objective key results, all right? It's one of the, Goal setting methodology that a lot of big companies are using that, right? This is your KPI. If you don't know what a KI is, is it put your KPI or key result areas? And then under these key result areas, what is your GRAs, right? What are the actions that you want to take in order to help you achieve the goal or KPIs? Now, next is your projects, right? What are projects that you're working on? So all this, the planning is actually related to what are the tasks or actions you want to take in order to right finish your projects, right? So you have projects here, project one, project two, project three. So what are the tasks that you need to do? So in this planning, it's focusing on what are the key tasks, yeah? Now, usually I'll plan it right over here. 
And then later on, I will transfer it to Microsoft to do apps. Yeah. So if you do not know how to use Microsoft to do apps, yeah, watch this video that I created earlier on. And it's a very simple tool so you can carry with you on your phone, on your laptop, or PC, anywhere, because they all sync just like OneNote right over here. So now once you create this template, now this is the, the three thing, key things that I plan for the week. If you want to add more of this, it is totally up to you, okay? Let me just get rid of this. If you want to like decorate it and all, by all means, you can do that. Insert photos, insert pictures, yeah? Now I just want to make it clean, right? Now, one thing is one be aware that in Microsoft OneNote, Okay, why I arrange it in such a way, right? A portrait, because I can print it out if I want. So if that comes over here and I just go print it, okay, select. Let me just show you print preview. You can select the current page, yeah, or page group you want, and then the size, and then you can see this is uh, the page, right? Now, even though this is an unlimited page, meaning that, let's say, let me just give you an example. I can copy this, I can put it over here. You see? So I can have unlimited areas. You can scroll as you go down, you can scroll as slow as you want, right? So it's like a canvas that you can insert it anywhere you want. Yeah, and uh, arrange it any way you want. Can I arrange this, I can arrange any way I want, right? I can delete this as well. So, but if you want to print it on the A4, okay? So I like to print it on a portraits. So that's why I arrange it in such a way. You want to do it in a uh, landscape, by all means, you can do that as well. Print preview, you have something like this. So just click on the landscape, right? And then you can print. I see that if you landscape, you need to know where is the cutoff, okay? So if you're not, then some of part of your, your information will be cut off. So that's why I just prefer to print it on a portrait. Once you're done, here's how you can create this as a template. Okay. So once we design this right now, just go to insert and then page template here, go down here, get page template. Now you can see all this. Yeah. Now over here, what you need to do is just click here. If this is the page that you want to save as template, click here and then put it a name. Let's say this is week plan, something like that, and you can save it. Now once save it, you can see that it is here, right? So if I click this, you will create another one, right? Another page. So remember to rename this, your title before you, you save as a template, okay? So this is how you create as a template. Now, if you create wrongly, let's say I don't want this anymore, I can just come in here, right click this, and I can just delete it. Okay. So then I come back here and I can change this. Yeah. Let's say I just change this plan, and then I can save. The plan. That's it. So if I come over here, then you can see here the weekly plan. So if I click here again, next time we always be here a weekly plan. So this is how you create as a template. Okay. So just try it out and let me know whether it works for you. And if you have more ideas on uh, what usually you, you do on your planning for your week, just let me know in the comment right below. So. 
I, for me, I just try to keep it simple. And these are the three things that uh, I focus, help me to focus on. And you can see that usually my routine would not be more than three. Right? Even KIAs will have more than three. And projects, I won't take more than three projects at the same time. Right? So that way, I will lose focus. Now, if you like this type of uh, content, do remember to subscribe to our channel. And uh, this is Andrew. I see you real soon in my next video.